Brian Jace Yu Huahan, the alleged baby puncher, was originally charged with only misdemeanors. But as a result of the Attorney General's review of the case and the community's response, those charges have been upgraded to felonies. Ms. Yu, for your information, the people of the Attorney General's office has filed an indictment against you. This is more a different charge, charging instrument from what you originally appeared in court for. Although she was initially charged with only assault and child abuse, both as misdemeanors, Yu Hua Han appeared for her arraignment today before Judge Alberto Tolentino, where her charges were upgraded to felonies. When you first were brought into the court, you were charged with a misdemeanor complaint. Since that time, the Attorney General's office has gotten an indictment from the grand jury. charging you with more serious offenses. The new charges now include two counts of aggravated assault as a third-degree felony, two counts of assault as a misdemeanor, two counts of child abuse as a misdemeanor, and two counts of child abuse as a third-degree felony. Yu Hua Han is believed to be the woman caught on mall surveillance footage, punching 10-month-old Alexia Esser in the face on New Year's Day. Within 24 hours after the family and KUAM released the footage and photos of the incident on social media, Yu was identified and arrested. Represented by public defender Eric Miller and with a Chinese interpreter by her side, Yu pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. This time, Your Honor, in the way reading of the indictment, enter a plea of not guilty, not guilty by reason of mental defect or disease. Waive our right to speedy trial. As a result, the court has ordered you to be evaluated by a psychologist or doctor within 10 days of receipt of the order. The upgraded charges also mean an increase in bail from $5,000 to $25,000. Prior to this incident, you stabbed a baby outside of Lone Star Steakhouse several years ago. She also stabbed the baby's father as he was trying to stop the attack. According to the victim's family in this case, you was found unfit to stand trial and found not guilty by reason of insanity as she was diagnosed with paranoia schizophrenia. Additionally, you was accused of threatening former Governor Felix Camacho, but that case was dismissed at the request of the AG's office at the time. Yu's next court appearance for the alleged assault and child abuse case is a criminal trial setting on February 5th before Judge Michael Berdalia. Brian Jace, back to you.